Welcome to protectyourbrain.com daily webcast. I'm William A. Van Horn, MD, a medical doctor who specializes in Alzheimer's disease. The purpose of the webcast is very simple, to answer your questions. Please send them to me. You can do Twitter, Facebook, email, our 800 number. I know, working with hundreds of Alzheimer's families, how hard it is to get questions answered. Today, I'm gonna ask a question I get asked quite often, which is, should my mom or my dad who has Alzheimer's disease have their Aricept stop? Or another Exelon stop? The medicine that raises acetylcholine, which is a foundational part of the treatment of Alzheimer's disease. They'll say to me, my, the family doctor says there's no use to have Aricept around anymore because there's no memory left. So shouldn't we stop it? Well, Aricept does help memory at certain stages, especially early it helps memory, I believe, but at least it helps protect the memory from, from progressing as far as the loss of memory from progressing as quickly. That I'm convinced of. Then why would you want to use a memory medicine with someone who's lost all their memory? Well, Aricept does a lot more than just help memory. I was the medical director of an Alzheimer's unit up in New York for advanced stage Alzheimer's patients. These are the ones who start losing the front of their brain, they're screaming, they're yelling, they're agitated, out of control. And they come into the hospital and my job was to get them sleeping all night, awake, alert, happy, restore their dignity, their life, and so they could have a truly deep relationship with their family member. And the nursing homes that I was re they were referring to me that I was sending back to them asked me to stop using Aricept. And the reason was, in the Medicaid system, in nursing homes, certain drugs are paid for by the state, certain drugs are not paid for by the state. And Aricept at that time was not paid for by the state. Fortunately, right now, Aricept is now a generic, and I heard recently at Costco, you can get it for like $9 a month, which is just wonderful, because some of these drugs are so expensive. But anyway, so they asked me not to use Aricept. So I had these patients come in, and, I, and when someone comes in with that agitated, screaming, yelling state, there's a series of about eight steps I go through to get them under control, and one of them is raising acetylcholine. And I decided to not use the Aricept and see what my success rate is. Well, typically, if a per patient will take their medicines, I have a success rate about 90%, truly do. I see transformations of people's lives. Just a person who's just completely out of control becomes this happy person relating to their family. It's, it's truly wonderful to see. I love, love that part of my work. One of the reasons that I developed protectyourbrain.com and the Alzheimer's Journey DVD series is because I know most doctors don't know how to do that work and most family members are not getting that treatment. So I actually have left the hospital to go national to promote how to really treat these patients. Well, to make a long story short, should your mom or dad's Aricep be stopped? Answer is no. Because when I tried to do that, that quality of life of the Alzheimer's patients significantly dropped. Aricep not only help, helps memory, it helps quality of life for the patient. It helps agitation. It helps, it helps protect against what's called a delirium where the brain gets drunk. My success rate dropped by at least 50% when I stopped raising acetylcholine in the brain. So if you have a family member with later stage Alzheimer's disease, yes, keep them on their Aricept, their Exelon, the Remedil, the one that raises acetylcholine, that will improve the quality of your family member's life and it will improve the quality of your life taking care of them throughout the entire disease. Mm -hmm.